What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. Welcome to the channel where you subscribe and get daily updates every day on Bitcoin. We're gonna take a look at the bearish and the bullish case scenario and I will give you guys my opinion. Definitely stick around. There is some pretty interesting things in the charts. And uh, don't forget, we have a free Discord group. There's a link below in the description. Definitely check it out. It's an awesome community and let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Always do your own due diligence and your own research before investing or trading in any market. I want to remind you guys, we are doing a Kobo Vault Generation 2 Hard Wallet giveaway. All you got to do to enter to win is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash that like button. Leave your comments down below, and I'll be picking a random comment from a random video throughout the week on Sunday to pick the winner. All right, let's get into the Bitcoin news and just get a feel for the sentiment. What a future we are building for Bitcoin, or what future are we building for Bitcoin? Uh, as Bitcoin price regains momentum, here's everything you need to know. Inside a crypto Ponzi, how the $6.5 million banana fund fraud unraveled. Uh, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of exit scams and stuff as Bitcoin does rise, although I don't think it's ready to do a huge rise yet. I know a lot of bulls out there are screaming for crazy highs. I'm not saying it's not possible. We will take a look at it, but I just don't think it's ready. Um, Bitcoin surpasses 12,000 and tumbles in wild weekend action. Uh, Bitcoin FOMO is back. Isn't that the truth? All right, not these. This is kind of older news. I kind of read most of those yesterday, so nothing new in there. Um, we have dropped five points on the fear and greed index. We were at eighty, now we're at seventy-five. Still in the greed zone. Let's take a look at the monthly. We talked about this yesterday. The trend line here, we did break it. We are playing with it right now. We're actually almost back getting support. And as of looking at the monthly. It's around 11,200 um, right here. So that is going to be major resistance. And we have more at 11.4 all the way up to 11.8. Um, we are showing higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence. Let's look at the weekly. Um, so looking at the bullish case scenario, you can see the thicker white trend lines here. A measured move where we broke there is gets us right around the $27,000 range. Actually, I'm going to move that down a little bit. Right around the $27,000 range. Um, and looking at the falling broadening wedge that we broke out of here, the measured move to that is 16000 Those are the bigger bullish case scenarios. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Again, guys, this is the weekly. And we are getting resistance right at that let me straighten this line out just a little bit. There we go. We are getting resistance right at this trend line, which actually on the weekly, it's showing about 11,300. Um, we are above all the EMAs, but we've talked about that before. Anytime we get too far away from the red one, which is the 8 EMA, we do come back down to test it. Right now, the 8 EMA is around $10,100 range. Um, if we were to come back down and test the white trend line, could go all the way down to the 92. We'll take a look in a minute. Volume still declining. Even though we had this big rise last week, it still did not top these weekly volume candles over here. So um, if you guys are interested in trading, you can make a lot of money trading on leverage or um, you can lose a lot of money too. Just be careful. Use risk management, set stop losses, and don't do crazy high leverage um, but I will leave a Prime XBT tutorial up top. Definitely check it out. If you get on there and use my promo code Savvy50, it'll get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit, up to one Bitcoin as a bonus. And Savvy25 will get you 25% off of the fees. Um, the reason I love Prime XBT so much is you can trade Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Pretty much anything you would want to trade is on there, and they're still continuously adding more. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Even if you already have an account, you can still use my promo codes. All right, um, and there is links to that below too. 
So anyways, that is the weekly. Let's look at the RSI. So on the RSI, we have this triangle on the weekly. Um, it is possible we come up and retest the top of it before coming down. Could be around the 13 to 16,000. We will take a look at those targets. Uh, don't forget to check out my wife's webpage, anchorimage.com. There's a link to that below. Awesome quality uh, crypto stuff in here. If you have a favorite coin or, or favorite project you want to put on, she can do that too. Just hit her up in the contact. And let's look at the gaps. So if you guys noticed, um, we talked about it yesterday. We have a gap at 11,795 on the CME. This is the eight hour chart. If we look here, we did not quite get up to close this. We could still possibly get a run up to close that. And um, in the bullish case, obviously we would continue up. But in the bearish case, we could come up, close that, and come down. I don't really consider that closed yet because we did not go all the way up to it. If I zoom in here, you can see there's still a gap right there. But let's look at the next gap is down to around 97.35. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. It is around 96.70. Um, we do have a gap down in that area, which I, as you guys know, the gaps usually always close. So far, it has a record of always closing. Um, let's look at the next gap down here is around uh, 76.25. And there is still one more big gap that we've talked about quite a bit on this channel. And guys, I'm not saying they have to fill, but you should definitely be aware of where these gaps are. So you don't get surprised if they do. This gap here is right around the 3570 range. Um, do we have to close that? Absolutely not. Is there a possibility we close it? Definitely. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm looking at here. Let's get into the daily. And as you can see, in the macro, we're still just making lower highs as of right now, unless we were to break that $13,800 range. But as of right now, we're still just making lower highs. Um, get the RSI out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. As you can see, we did peak, or we topped out when we came back to do the retracement of the big bull run in 2017. The retracement um, got us to the golden pocket zone. Um, if you look at Ethereum and Litecoin, I'm not going to go into it now. I'm trying to keep this a little bit short. But if you go into Ethereum and Litecoin, they have not even hit their uh, Fibonacci retracement of the golden pocket zone. It, I know it seems like they're banging, they're going up really fast, but they still haven't got as far percentage-wise as Bitcoin did last year. So just something to keep in mind. Um, all right. We had a, looking at this as a rising channel, we had a measure move of 69. If we use the orange trend line, looking at it as a rising broadening wedge, which we have broke back above it, but we are below it now. The measure move of that was around 55.48. Um, I have drawn another trend line in here. As you can see, looking at this as a rising broadening wedge. And let's say we broke down here within the next couple weeks. Where could that get us? All the way down to, look at that, right around the 35 to 3600. Definitely possible, guys. Uh, we've seen what happened over here. There could be some huge news or something crazy to make an excuse for it, but I'm still looking at this as a possibility. Now let's take a look at that. On the daily, that trend line is right around the 11,400. I think we're gonna see big resistance there if we do get up there. Um, like I talked about, or I didn't talk about yet, but you can see this bearish engulfing candle here. As you can see, this engulfs the whole candle. Um, even the body engulfed the wick down here. So that is a bearish engulfing candle. Usually that means it's a big bearish sign. Let's look and see if we see any more of these. Um, this one wasn't as bearish because the body didn't engulf the whole candle, but it was still, the wick still did. Um, and you can see what happened after that. Let's look for another one. There's really not as good of an, here's one right here. You can see this red candle here. The body engulfed the wick. 
and the wicks engulfed the wick over here and down and we see what happened after that another bearish engulfing candle here another bearish engulfing candle here we see what happened after those so be cautious guys i know everybody's extremely bullish and uh i'm not saying that it can't be bullish but i am saying be cautious because this is a bearish engulfing candle we could be looking for a dump all the way down to the 96 to 97 area which would get us down to retest this trend line which also would close the gap um, if that doesn't hold then it could get very ugly very fast all right so we did come down got our bounce off the 10,560 range that has been our support resistance line that we've broken there is a measured move coming off that looking at it as a inverse head and shoulders which i don't uh, believe it to be but that gets us up to about the seventeen thousand dollar range that's the bullish case uh, we also have this rising broadening wedge that we broke out of here if we came back up to test that trend line would be uh, if we did it next day or two around twelve thousand six hundred possible um looking at the rising channel here if we came up to retest that it could be around the 13.2 to 13.5 range uh, be aware of that but guys i just uh I don't trust this run at all and let's uh take a look at the fibonacci retracement from the swing low to the swing high if we come down retest this 10.5 and it does not hold our next line of support is move that up a little bit right around the 10,180 range 10,200 um that is the 0.236 then we have the 0 0.32 382 if that does not hold at 89.50 then we have the 7900 to $800 range is a 0.5 then of course our target at 6900 is in the golden pocket zone the golden pocket lies between 6740 and 7010 um, and then we have the point if this if I'm sure we would get a bounce here even if we get down but if we do blow past that 55 to 5600 is our 0.786 and then of course we have our gap down here which i do believe if we get down here it would most likely be a quick quick up it would be grabbing stop losses from anyone that went long here and then shoot up from there in my opinion that is what i see possible like i said the sentiment around is extremely bullish right now guys be just be careful um and again it could keep shooting up like everybody seems to think i just don't i'm not i'm not going for that yet um did we look at the RSI and the daily? We did not. If we look at the RSI and daily here, looking at this as a falling channel, we did top out. And I've showed you guys before, and we'll go over to this daily chart, that it doesn't necessarily mean just because we get high in the RSI doesn't necessarily mean that it's oversold and we have to come back down. I've, I've marked these right here so you can kind of see what happens. Uh, this was considered oversold. Look what happened. We had a little dip, came back up, oversold, and the RSI just reset while we went sideways, and then another push up. Same thing, RSI reset while we went sideways, had a little dip, and went up, topped out here. Could we be seeing something like that here? Definitely possible. That would be the bullish case scenario. But uh, again, guys, I am just not bullish right now, um, and I haven't been. And people are saying, you haven't been bullish for... You know, you've been bearish for so long and we've raised. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't trade the smaller moves, guys. I'm just looking for these lower lows down here that a lot of people think are impossible. And I I do not think it's impossible. Um, let's look at the four-hour RSI. We have this rising channel here. Looks like we're going to come back down and retest this trend line here. If that breaks, come down and retest the bottom of the trend line here. That would be a huge, huge dip i do believe there is another capitulation coming um we had a measured move looking at this as a rising channel if we take a measured move of that from where it broke gets us around that 13 2 uh to 13 3 range that could be one more leg up before coming back down but um let's keep an eye on that 11 2 to 11 4 range if we do break above that we could be looking to break this twelve thousand two hundred dollars um, I think we're going to get heavy resistance there. Most likely come back down to retest the uh, 10,005 to 10,600. And if that does break, we'll most likely come down to retest this trend line here. Uh, somewhere in the $94 to $92 range. 
And of course, we have our retracements here to keep an eye on. Uh, let's look at the hourly. So the hourly, if we look at the hourly right now, we are making lower highs and higher highs in the RSI. It does look like it's resetting for another push down. Um, so keep an eye on that. The 55 EMA right now lies around the 10,200 or 11,275. And then we have our trend line around 11,300. And our long term trend line here around 11.4. These areas are going to be key, guys. Um, let's put a Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement and see what would happen from this big move down that we had. If we came back up, we could come as high as. Let me go up to the 0.786. It's around 11,900. Um, that's the highest I see us going. Other than that, we would be breaking this this high here. Let's take a look at. Let's do a measured move from where we broke. Right here, looking at this as a rising broadening wedge that gets us down to, actually down a little bit lower. Right around. 10,070 somewhere in that range but again we have this long-term trend line that we got off of here as support um, if we take a little bit longer we could come down to the 10.5 in this area if that was to break guys it could get real ugly um, but again I I don't think this rally is going to continue guys but that's my opinion make up your own mind we did take a look at the bullish case and the bearish case thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please smash those like buttons and leave your comment down below for your chance to win the Kobo Hard Wallet. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm out. Don't forget to check the links down below. They also help support the channel. Take it easy. Have a great day. I'm out.